matchup we saw earlier today as well in the LCK. Isaiah's bringing Zach into the X side. The thing is, though, I traditionally like Zach when you see less mobile carries. Mm. He's here with the managing the ability to do that, and then started bullying out Humanoid in the one v one as well. So, Nuke overall having a great series. Should be very happy with his performance. Oh, LeBrov Ooh. going in with a flash. Engage here. Shell coming in from the side as well. Good double stun. Ice locked up. LeBrov the first to fall. And Fnatic haven't even had their health bars tickled by BDS. Shell has to flash away. The chase continues. John with a double. The Riptide ripping through BDS. And Fnatic pounce on an overeager engage from BDS. Response with the double lockup and the follow up damage from Noah's clean. A huge advantage gained for Fnatic in the early game. You have to think that when the... Oh! Adam. I don't know if Adam is dead here. here. He's too close to the damage, tower, yeah. too close to the tower. He's going to take a decent amount of his life, but... Do you kill him or No, 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 he has too much healing. <laughs> but the question now, jungle, jungle, way, jungle, Razzle jungle. Bits, yeah. That's the call that's being made from the top laners. Razok on his way, Sheo here to cover. Adam wards it, Sheo. In the vicinity, Adam still has the flash here. Razzle looking for the stun. Flash, double knocker with a stretching strike into the elastic center. Really? Beautifully oh. done by Adam. That was a nice outplay. Adam. Top, a little bit surprising, but I guess he doesn't really have much money. Wants to be in range for this play. Ah. So he jumps in with the elastic sing shot, gets the play. Oscar tries to trade with him, has the execution, is calling. A bit of healing reduction. Let's bounce comes out from Adam. Oscar. Can look to chase this down. Adam with the grass proc. Oscar the healing. healing up once again. Plus 50, plus 50. Flash. Knock up. Oscar chases in the void. Rush enough. He sinks his fangs in. And Oscar gets a solo in the top. He's going to be able to push this wave. It's now paying fruition. Razok setting his sights on bot lane. It's humanoid first to roam. Ice needs about five more minions to get level six, but he can't get it in time. Magnus Storm coming out from Razor Grieber's wall in. The Emperor's Divide slams the door in the face of Nuke. One for one, though, underneath the tower. Great knockup from Labrov just before he died. He interrupted the crash. Life. Razor gets a fourth grub. BDS trying to play around this. Jun the first to move. Labrov is level six. Fifth Grub goes over to Fnatic as well. Trueshot Barrage going wide. Humanoid looking to join the fight. Emperor's Divide into the Magnus Storm. Lebrov in with the quickness, lands a double charm. Razzle falling low. Ice the first to join the fight. And Noah's still in the bot lane. BDS have a man advantage now as Ice flashes forward. Blast cones Humanoid back. Who has to flash himself? Lebrov dashing in. And the Weavers will all separate. Fnatic Humanoid tries to escape but can't get away from BDS's clutches. Noah didn't roam. Ice started to move up so. BDS, they outnumber on the play and just about are able to much better spot when it comes to just positioning and the link up they have with the team. Nuke looking for the TP here. Oscar really can try and stop him. The Drake already secured. Razzle in the back of the pick. Quickness back, but he can still Feramancy over the wall and escape. And the TP was invested by BDS. <clears throat> Had abandoned mid wave to look for the play. I think you can then fight, but because they're late, it doesn't matter. Now, Fnatic in the jungle. Shadow's going to meet Jun. Oscar in just around the corner. The chase continues with Lebov. Jun. Falling low, no flash for him. Dredge line, Riptide, not enough to get him away as Lebrov takes the kill. A bounty going over to the enemy supporter, but Oscar in and has his secret tunnels to escape to the safety of as a TP. Here we go. We're getting a brawl. The question is who will find the advantage? Shea on the front line. Crescent Guard goes down. Lebrov with the knockup. Ice tries to put the damage down onto Jun. Oscar in. Look for that flank position. Jun's still alive. Magnus Storm on the back line. Humano trying to get in, but Nuke keeps him at bay for the moment. The quickness into the Feather Storm. Into the pull back. You have to take from Ice. Razzle. Oscar in and dashes in. And Ice doesn't get the chance to pull the Feathers back. It's beautiful. From Fnatic. They found two. They found three. And now only Nuke can stand and watch as his team is routed. And he is six feet under. That is a five for zero, 50 minutes in. Just like game four, a clean ace. And mid lane with Dragon just under 30 seconds. BDS playing so reactionarily now. Flash, hook, death charge onto Nuke, the Magnus Storm in as well as BDS look for something. Jun tried to get the engage, Adam dives onto the back line, Razzle the first to fall, but so down will go Sheo, another kill as Noah goes down, Oscar gets onto the back line though and somehow salvages something from the fight. BDS though come out on top as Fnatic dived way too deep. Nuke just barely got the Unraveled Earth off before he went down and Humanoid thought he was dead but they're just continuing to chip away. They're trying to rely on Noah's poke here. Adam. Primarily using his wave clear. Oscar in, in the engage. Storm in the double stun. It's beautiful for Fnatic. That's what they were looking for on the mid, the mid lane tier two, and they find it. 
in bot, Shayo forced away, Fnatic buying three, only Nuke and Shayo left standing. 20 minutes. like that, they're gonna start off the Baron. Razlok smiting early, hoping it will be back up, just trying to pull BDS into this fight. TP into the mid lane from Nuke, has that Weaver's wall available, Ice has Flash and Feather Storm. The quickness, a possibility from LeBrock, all of Fnatic on this side of the wall as Adam looks to try and engage. Junt going in, stretching strike, pulls back to the Emperor's Divide, it's good though, but Humanoid knocked back with the seismic shot. Baron's gonna go over to Fnatic, but they've already lost two members, and Oscar Winner might be next on the menu for BDS. The dash in, the knock back as Oscar pulls low and will fall down. Buried in the ground with his two Razork. teammates, Razork. Bailed the Hex Flash across the wall and the chase continues for BDS. He tries to get away, but he's knocked up with a three talent trike. Noah trying to get away as well, and perhaps Fnatic once again have been a little bit too greedy on this. Only Noah left standing with the Baron buff. That is not worth at all. You're going to lose. The Baron gone. Only Noah left standing as BDS. <laughs> what? I, <but laughs> yeah, I think that's that the That sums up. Reaction. Yeah, that's yeah. a great. Thank you, Kajol, for that analysis. The crowd chants. Jake, nowhere, they're both on the bottom side of the map. BDS are going to start up the Baron because they want to call Fnatic into a fight. Fnatic have Noah, information. Yeah, Noah and Humanoid already sprinting up here. It's down to 6,000, as you say, pretty quick. LeBrov keeping Oscar in at bay. BDS looking for the Baron. They peel off it. It sticks at 3,000. They look for Chun. He flashes away. Death charge on the back line as well. Adam falling low. The Cell Division still available to him. There was Oscar winning just trading with Icy Void watches forward. The Baron secured. It's Shea who takes it. Ice kills off Oscar winning. Adam's going to fall, though. Four members of BDS still alive. Their Weaver's wall out, and LeBrov was not back. Into the waiting arms of Fnatic, the BDS get the bound and get steps it. that uses side, the, the, the stretching strike actually pulls Razzle back out. So Ice isn't oh, caught Nuke. in the Magnus Storm anymore. Nuke went for a push here, and Noah just immediately shuts oh. him out. TP in by Humanoid behind. Adam's gonna try and push. lane push coming out from Fnatic. The Baron about to expire seven seconds ago. As you say, Oscar winning pushing in top. LeBrov looking to flank. He's on a ward chair going in. There's a TP as well. Oscar in the top lane is already on that inhibitor tower. Humanoid dances across and immediately demolishes the, the standing tower. Oscar on the front line. Adam lets bounce but can't find it. The hook lands. Ice pops away from the depth charge. But he's going to land afterwards. Noah's already got one as the bot falls low. Nuke falling low as well. And the fight might not even be around the Elder because Fnatic have found it in the top lane. They'll take the inhibitor. They're not going to push for more. No minion wave yet. But will they go for the win? Oscar backing. He can TP in. Right now, the debate is happening within Fnatic. Oscar choosing to reset. They're waiting for the next wave. Three members still alive. Ice, crucially, still alive. Flash barely off cooldown as the wave makes connection with the tower. Oscar has TP to keep the minion wave alive. He can TP on, but Adam goes. Adam looks for it. Magna Storm on the back line. Ice locked up, and Ice has been absolutely melted. Fnatic break the hearts of the BDS fans. They will lock their spot at MSI and then have a rematch with G2 tomorrow. The reverse sweep from Fnatic. It looked disaster from the get-go in those first two games. But the fact they managed to pull through game three to get to this game five, to get into this early game where Razark was...